Hello, welcome to Maths with J. So here we've been given two solutions of a quadratic equation, or you might know them as roots, and we're going to use them so that we can write down the quadratic equation. So these are complex numbers. Let's just remind ourselves that i is the square root of minus 1. So of course that means that when we square it, we get minus 1, so i squared is minus 1. And the other thing that's important is to know what we're aiming to do. So we're trying to write down a quadratic equation. So we know we're looking at complex numbers, so let's start by thinking of the, the answer as z. So we're thinking of a quadratic equation that's going to look like az squared plus bz plus c is equal to 0. Now we can see that the solutions that we've got are complex conjugates. In other words, the, the real parts are the same and the coefficient of the i is plus 1 in, in one of the roots and minus 1 in the other. So uh, we know that a, b and c are going to be real numbers. So we're looking to find the quadratic equation az squared plus bz plus c is 0. So we know where we're headed. So now let's go back and think about these actual roots and think what we're going to do with them. All we need to do is say, well, we know that we've got z minus each root. So we start with the first one, so minus negative 2 thirds plus i multiplied by, and then we put the other root in here. So that's going to be minus 2 thirds minus i. So we know that the product of those two things is equal to 0. And all we've got to do is multiply that out and simplify it until we end up with az squared plus bz plus c is 0, and then we're done. So let's first of all get rid of the brackets inside the brackets. So here we're going to have z plus 2 thirds minus i, and in the second bracket starts off the same, plus 2 thirds, but this time minus minus i will give us plus i. So now what we can do is we can see that the first part of the bracket, the z plus 2 thirds, appears in both of them, doesn't it? So I've highlighted that because then we can see what we can use next is the, the idea of the difference of two squares. So for example, we know that if we're multiplying x minus y by x plus y, that's the same as x squared minus y squared. So that's really what we've got here, isn't it? We've got x is z plus 2 thirds and y is i. So that means that when we multiply this out, all we need to do next is write z plus 2 thirds squared minus i squared is 0. So then multiplying out the bracket, we've got z squared, two lots of 2 thirds of z, so plus 4 thirds z, and then 2 thirds all squared, so that's plus 4 ninths. And then remember we know that i squared is negative 1, so we're subtracting negative 1, in other words adding on 1. So we can take together the last two terms, so the z squared and the 4 thirds of z aren't going to change at the moment. And 1 plus 4 ninths, well that will be, um, well 1 is 9 ninths, so that will be 13 ninths. And then, although we could say, well, yes, that's a quadratic, I think it would be nicer if we had uh, whole numbers multiplying each of the, the terms. So let's multiply through by 9. So that will give us 9z squared plus, and then 9 divided by 3, 3 times 4 is 12, so we've got 12z in there. And then 9 times 13 ninths will be 13, and that's equal to 0. So we've done what we were asked to do. We found the quadratic equation which has the given solutions. If you want to check that, you could substitute in either one of the solutions or, or both of them, or you could start with this equation and solve it either using the quadratic formula or you could complete the square, or if you had a calculator that would solve this sort of equation, you could try that too.